Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Please keep in mind that these messages are general. So if you need a personal, be sure to email me. All right, so we're going to tap into the messages here. Let's see what's going on. What is it that we need to know? I feel like somebody's visiting somewhere or there's going to be some type of vacation. Somebody wants to get away and relax. Or there's going to be travel required to go somewhere or to get somewhere here. Seven of Cups is significant. Water sign energy. Okay. Somebody is making a person choose. Okay, what road they want to go down. Or I feel like somebody's given a person too much leeway to choose. And now it's going to go against this person. Okay, that was the overall energy Libra and water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also seeing the Knight of Swords. This is the actual card that popped up air sign energy my skin's looking really good today i can't even lie but yeah knight of swords is telling me that there's somebody that is pushing a person to make a decision but i feel like it's a, a decision that's going to lead somebody to face consequences or somebody's trying to um push a person period Let's see. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? What is all this rude, volatile behavior? What's this Knight of Swords? Wow. The Star and the Hangman. Somebody here is stuck in their head about a lack of a commitment. Um, something that doesn't hold a lot of faith or strength in something. This could be a mindset. Okay. Somebody doesn't believe that if they're pushed like this person is pushing you, that they will get what they want. I heard something about a fantasy. Okay. Somebody's in la la land or isn't being serious about their life, their choices, or whatever this is. The numbers 12 and 17 could be significant. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Something could be happening 12 to 17 hours from now, or this could be minutes, days, weeks. What's the star in the man, the hangman? We have the moon. The moon is here. Something is moving very slowly. That was confirmation. Did you hear that long honk? Queen of Wands to the King of Swords here. So the moon talks about trickery. I heard the word diversion. Somebody's trying to divert a person by tricking them into holding something or keeping something a secret or... There is a conversation that other people around these two individuals don't know about. Okay, do you see that this, this crab is coming out of the water to try to figure out what's going on here? Somebody wants insight on this situation from these two individuals. And we have 17 and the number 18 and then we have 12. So the numbers are jumping, but something is going to happen one after the other. I feel like somebody's going to lose hope or somebody is feeling a lack of fulfillment, a lack of resources, a lack of um, credibility, a lack of being seen. Somebody's not in the spotlight. Somebody could be the help here. Somebody doesn't feel like they're, they're spiritually connecting or whatever this is. 
why is this moon here? What's this moon to the hangman and the star card? We have the root chakra in the upright and we have the seven of swords. Aquarius energy is significant. I'm seeing Aquarius twice, the star, the star and the seven of swords. So somebody could have double um, Aquarius in their chart. Somebody is being dishonest, lying or tricking a person into some sort of scheme or is using strategy of trickery to get somebody to do something they're not supposed to do. This is a knight of swords that's doing this. Or this could be you. This is your energy. Take it how it resonates. Somebody wants, this is supposed to be a robbery or somebody is supposed to take something from a person that has wealth or won't miss this money. Like if some type of money went missing, they wouldn't miss this. I feel like somebody here was supposed to flirt with a, pl a flirt with a person, um, go through their pockets or their pocketbook to get some type of money here. Yeah, this was the, I'm telling you, this is supposed to be what it was, okay? To get a justified outcome from this money grab. Somebody was supposed to be in a partnership with a person to get this big change. Knight of Swords is showing up twice. Whoever this Knight of Swords is, they're not showing up as their actual self. Somebody's showing up as like um, their lower grade self here. Somebody wants a person to give them credit by them doing whatever it is that this person is saying, like, I want you to do this. How is it that you want some, something and don't want to get it yourself? Damn. You see how many cards plopped out? We have alchemist and we have thief. I'm going to keep these ones. Somebody is stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other, p or other powers that they think that you lack in order for them to be the true alchemist. But the truth of the matter is somebody either don't have enough faith, hope, or um, guts to do something. Somebody feels like the only way they're able to have guts to do something is by getting somebody to push them in that direction here. The bottom of the deck, we have child eternal. And I have two cards that fell on the floor. Give me a minute. So this child eternal is your overall energy. So this talks about determining to remain young in mind, body, and spirit ability to see things with fresh eyes. Somebody's going to have the ability to see things with a, with fresh eyes. I feel like I'm telling you, you have the power or ability to persuade anyone. And then you come out with some type of reward in the end. You are the Midas or miser. Anything that you touch turns to gold. That's why people love you. People are attracted to you. I feel like you are a, um, a romantic type of person here. Okay. The colors red and blue could be significant. I'm getting a lot of red. I feel like somebody's in love with you or you may be attracted or in love with somebody here. We have Avenger and Child Magical that also popped out. I'm going to take whatever spirit is telling me to take out. Usually I don't, but I'm going to. We have Desire to Balance the Scales of Justice with this Avenger. Righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. So I feel like somebody is going to play Superman, Batman, or do something that kind of makes them the hero. Somebody is going to be avenging against a person or against you, depending on who it is. 
The reason why somebody's doing this is because somebody sees the potential for sacred beauty in all things. Okay, somebody believes that anything is possible. Somebody's trying to prove a point, I believe. Let's see here. Message for Virgo. We have firecracker. Excitement. Now, I don't know if there's a holiday. I feel like Victoria Day is coming up. It's popping up. So there could be a lot of um, events, excitement, and people celebrating this holiday. Somebody's coming into some money or you're going to get the opportunity to have this bag energy. I feel like when you have this bag or there is some sort of promotion that you're going to hear about from your boss or whoever you work for, or maybe you're earning some money from a business that you started from the ground up. I feel like you won't have to worry about going without because you're going to have it. We have career. Somebody's career is going to take off where they won't have to worry because they have this bag. You got something in the bag here. Whatever it is that you're working towards that you didn't think was possible is possible. Okay. But be careful not to take risks. Okay. I feel like the people that you are going in, into business with, you really have to dig down deep into your third eye chakra. <clears throat> Somebody's trying to stop me from delivering the message. Somebody here could be having anxiety. Somebody has anxiety. This is a younger woman that may have some type of worry, depression, or anxiety that somebody is against you, or you're worried about this woman that you might need to collaborate or partake in certain things that you do. I feel like somebody could be worried that a person is against them, whether it's you or this person for you. We have Wedge and Rabbit. Somebody is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. So I feel like there is a woman here. Let's just say her, for example. There is a younger woman that is trying to put a wedge between you and a person that wants to sleep with you or is physically attracted to you for whatever reason. Somebody's worried that if this person comes to you with some sort of sexual uh, romance or whatever this is that they're gonna lose their person. So they're trying to put a wedge between you and this person from collaborating intimately together. I keep hearing Gaskin. G-A-S-K-O-N or G-A-S-K-I-N. I don't know if this is a name, a business, an entity, or whatever this is, but I keep getting that. We have physical change, appearance, body type, weight. Somebody is gaining weight in all the right places or looks really healthy. Physical change. I feel like this is because somebody has gone through the process of healing here. We have secrecy, confidant at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's confiding in a person, but I feel like the person that you are confiding in could be messy or maybe the conclusion of this situation is messy. Something is not a good idea to confide into a person or somebody confiding in you because somebody is messy, okay? You can't trust somebody with anything, whoever this person is. This, this situation with what somebody may wanna tell you could be about you having a sugar daddy or somebody wanting to be your sugar daddy. Somebody wants to pay for a person's lifestyle or um, somebody has nice things because of a particular individual that's special. We have intimacy issues. What's going on, Virgo? We have corporation. Intimacy issues, corporation, and unlock secrets. Is somebody like dealing with the higher ups sexually? Is somebody being passed around? You could work for somebody 
that has family members as their co-workers. So somebody's taking turns with this one person. We have sociopath and we have emergency away from home. What is this? We have content with partner. So somebody could be in a relationship of familial connection. This could be a friendship here. Somebody's content with their partner. I feel like somebody here could be harvesting some sort of unselfish energy. Somebody wants you to be able to give freely without even putting much pressure on giving. We have teach me how to love. Somebody's trying to harvest your heart, your heart or your, your heart chakra. We have jealous of the way that you parent your children. Somebody, somebody hates the fact that you and your children are always together or know how to make a family dynamic work. I feel like there could be a tolerable situation. I feel like somebody's coming out of thousands of dollars in their pocket from a materialistic or to a materialistic person. Somebody's splurging on you or you're splurging on somebody. This could be your children or whatever this is here. You're going to be doing something nice for the weekend. I'm also picking up that somebody here, their parents could be changing because there's some sort of intimacy issues that make somebody gain or lose weight. I don't know if this person even knows what's going on or somebody doesn't really care what they have. They still getting it in. We have new car or home. So I feel like somebody's going to be going on the lot, talking to a realtor, trying to pick out the right vehicle. For their family. Somebody could be held at gunpoint. I feel like somebody that is being held at gunpoint. This is somebody's bad karma. For some sort of corruption or chaos against a chosen one. Okay. Because they fake flexed or made somebody. Um, they made somebody go through a hard time to try to get their finances off the ground. Okay. There is a secret phone call between two or more people about not being able to figure you out. Okay. Your energy is not very easy to dig into. Okay. Somebody here could be doing chaos, magic, or corruption spells or is sounding off with this. That's what I'm picking up here. message for Virgo. Okay. So we have love begins. Somebody is going to patch up something with a friend, a ex, or somebody that they don't know. This could be a whole stranger. There's some sort of new beginning in a love situation for somebody. I feel like somebody is no longer suffering in silence because they've taken full control and power into their hands. Somebody is in for this uh, foundation and achievements. Somebody could be moving in with the person that they want to be with. All it took was patience. I do see here that something may be digressing when it comes to being patient. I feel like somebody could be getting antsy about this um, new turn of events in their life, in their relationship, or whatever this is that somebody's committed to. The number one could mean something to you. Somebody could be born September the 1st. Yep. Somebody's going to get some sort of level of awareness. I feel like your spirit guides are going to um, make you aware to something. You're going to get some type of download or um, you could be finding out some type of answer to something. Okay. 
somebody's m intuition is blocked as to why their money situation is changing somebody's gonna be like Like what you, how you look in your clothes, they may like what they see. Somebody's lusting after you today, okay? Somebody's in this lustful energy, or somebody may be connecting with the last time they seen you, and they're going to either show you or tell you how lustful they are in this energy. Especially men, like, why do you go around acting like a, a bitch? Like, seriously. How do you act like a bitch? If I don't fuck with you and you know I don't talk to you, why are you trying to talk to me and gather into the conversation that I'm carrying with someone else? It's weird. Men men are not supposed to be like that. We don't deal with bitch-made energy. No, we don't. We don't deal with bitch-made energy. Somebody is trapped. Somebody is trapped in a zone where they are not protected by Archangel Michael. Okay? Somebody doesn't have any protection. So there is pure vulnerability. Let's see here. What's the message? We have balance. We have movement in reverse and we have consciousness. Okay, so somebody is unaware that they're stuck. Even though they're in balance, they're going to be stuck. Why? Color green could mean something to you. You're going to get some type of confirmation that you must not go even if that means you have a balanced energy. 
We have ideation. You are not to move or do anything at this time until you have further instructions. Or this could be for somebody that you set some, tour, some type of rules for. We have determination, energy, and caution. I feel like you have nothing to worry about when it comes to somebody trying to take or harbor into your energy. Came out in reverse. Somebody's determined to try to grab a hold of your energy, but you don't have to worry about this person. Somebody is trying to put you in the lower vibrational energy here. This is somebody that you may have um, unfinished business with. This is somebody that could be a, a Pisces, Cancerian, or Scorpio. Somebody's a water sign. Okay, somebody could be intuitive or somebody around them could be. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people that be bitch made and it's especially the black men. Like... Especially men that lie on women because they can't have them and they wish they could. And they lie to other people to get attention because they think it's cute or cool. I don't fuck with it. I don't fuck with it. Hell no. Somebody is a whole weirdo. Do what you do best and sell your dime bags and leave me out of it. That's period. I heard flexing on my ex. I don't know why somebody can't. There's somebody in your energy that you never had a friendship with. You guys just lived in the same community. And somebody's trying to make themselves relevant or trying to pull people away from you because they can't have you. Okay, this is like a weird person like this here. Okay, we have the fifth house and the eighth house. Fifth house and the eighth house. I feel like there's some type of life or death situation. There's um, going to be a need to sacrifice or do something to come into power or resources to change a situation or um, enhance a situation. I feel like it could be about a love situation. A romantic dynamic I heard desire okay somebody could be coming to risk getting some information from you or you may have to do this somebody is investing in gambling and other games somebody here could be a gambler a full bone gambler this could be a Scorpio here Somebody here is definitely attracted to you or thinks you're very beautiful. Or somebody here likes the way that you carry yourself. I feel like somebody's going to want to be direct when it comes to how they feel or how they um, communicate with you. You are attracting a Taurus or a Taurus energy. We have negotiator. We have negotiator in reverse. And we have the ace of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is an earth sign feminine that could be using projections on things of the future. Or somebody, somebody could be projecting onto you today. In a few days, a few weeks, or a few months. Or this could be um, like future events. This is an earth sign feminine that's doing this. Somebody is projecting something onto you for you to be single, finding a union. Somebody here is trying to ignore or remove a person that they had a forbidden connection for. Didn't I say desire? I can't make this up. Somebody is attracted to you through the desires that you give them. The energy that they're on the same frequency with. I can't make this up. Let's see here.
message for Virgo. Somebody's not expecting that a person is not thinking about them. They're not on the same frequency. Somebody's trying to look up information about you. Somebody could have forgot about what you look like. It's been a long time. And I feel like somebody can't imagine or depict like what you look like to give themselves an image or something like that. Somebody's name is Casey or Katie, Cassandra. We have sold, thank you, and spiritual awakening. Some, somebody here doesn't want you to move away from them because they feel that they needed a awakening spiritually and they feel like you do this for them or them for you. Somebody wants to thank you. They don't want you to walk away from this, this situation here. Okay. We have alien telepathic dreams or songs in reverse and come together. Somebody is unable to connect with you on a spiritual level. Somebody cannot telepathically have access to you. I feel like this is somebody that you could be um, connecting to. This is not somebody that you know or this could be someone that you broke up with. Because i just seen breakups. Somebody don't want to break up for real. This is somebody that's a karmic femme or masculine. see how this person feels for you what is it that we need to know currently at this time I wonder if you're happy without me so you guys are definitely separated somebody wants to see you so somebody feels like they want to know if you're happy without them they want to see you you and I were too young. This could have been somebody you know since childhood, grade school, high school, whatever this is. We need to let each other go. I've never met somebody like you, so you are a rare vibe or energy to be around. I want to be strong like you. I heard somebody could be giving a person a compliment or somebody needs to take something as a compliment and not make too much about a situation. I heard the word curry. Somebody could be cooking or this could be somebody's last name. C-U-R-R-Y. I heard the nursery rhyme, patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Somebody here could be baking. Or this could be somebody like rising and uh, smoking or whatever this is. We have blessings, truth. So there's something about a blessing that may hold more information than you know. Okay? I feel like you're going to be illuminated with some sort of truth about your blessing, your calling, your divine power, the powers that you um, have or the things that are still unlocked, okay? We have voyage and opportunity. So it looks like somebody here can't leave the country, somebody's stuck, or they, they have nowhere to go because their vehicle, they have no vehicle or their vehicle has been impounded or something like that. I picked up on the same energy before, or somebody could be stuck in a country while visiting somewhere, okay? I feel like there is a false opportunity or there's an opportunity that you should not take for whatever reason here. Something here could be false or whatever this opportunity is, you may get stuck or something could be held back, delayed or whatever this is. Tell me more about this uh, voyage and opportunity. Voyage and opportunity. There's something that's going to keep you stuck to not have miracles okay i'm getting the prince of egypt um that movie i don't know if y'all have watched that there's something significant about egypt yep somebody's gonna get stuck somebody somewhere or somebody could be in jail in a different country or something could be happening to a person somebody won't be able to make it back home something could be terribly wrong Somebody could be stolen from, or th there could be some dangerous things happening in a whole different country. 
somebody here could be trying to make a buck off of a person and this is the the risk that you shouldn't have taken it's getting too comfortable with people you don't know but somebody's not going to tell you that all they're thinking is dollar signs here let's see What's the message okay so we have rejection listen to your first mind is what spirit is saying here there's a lot that spirit is telling you not to take a chance at we have rejection what is this rejection here somebody wants to talk I feel like you need to reject somebody that wants to talk to you for whatever reason Look, getaway is in reverse. Retreat, travel. Do not travel or go anywhere with this person if this person wants to talk to you. Because somebody is not very sincere. Somebody really don't want to um, say sorry to you for real. And you're, I'm telling you, wrong timing. Somebody's trying to set you up to go somewhere to a secluded area where something might take place or happen. Tell me more about this extroverted rejection energy. Rejection and extroverted. We have a water sign. So water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and runner. I feel like this is somebody that you could have known from the recent past or someone you no longer speak to or connect with. This is somebody that could have been the runner in a situation and now wants to come back around to have a conversation with you. This is because they see you happy as fuck. Somebody sees how happy you are and how much you are embracing and just pouring into yourself. Okay? This is somebody that you may not even want to reconcile with for real. Tell me more about this runner and this water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have saltitude. Somebody wants you to come out of saltitude to kind of join in with them. Somebody doesn't want to be alone and is using you as the crutch. To get them back on their feet or to be in a neutral place within themselves somebody here could be going through a um a breakup or somebody here may be going through a divorce it's always when somebody has some shit going on they want to come towards you what's this saltitude in reverse to the marriage card in reverse somebody may even come back to tell you that they don't want a commitment with somebody whether it's with you or someone else this could be happening within the next few days okay there's something significant about a gemini libra aquarius whoever this air sign is their priorities are out of whack when it comes to their family or the things that really um count here i feel like somebody stopped dealing with a person and it's been very very complicated okay it's very complex Somebody has made drastic moves to pull themselves and their energy away from someone. This, this union is not coming together the way somebody wanted it to here. Okay. I don't know what just happened to my light. Message. Or Virgo, so you have a non-military person, could be a masculine or somebody with masculine energy. I feel like somebody is regaining some sort of strength or somebody could have been down bad, sick, or going through it. I feel like um, somebody here is preparing themselves for some sort of legal battle or court case or this could be a... Um, I feel like somebody could be on jury duty as well or has to appear to court. This could be criminal, family, small claims, or whatever else this is. We have quarrel, a sincere friend, and trap. I feel like two people that may have had a misunderstanding that could have been friends in the recent past. I don't feel like somebody has any ill will or intentions towards you, but I feel like somebody wants to rectify a situation and be productive 
in doing so. The numbers 27, 30, and 22 could be significant here. Message for Virgo. Okay, somebody did not prepare to leave you with no closure or left hanging. Now somebody's coming around fishing for comments. I don't know if this is through them being on a fake or false profile or somebody coming towards you to ask you questions or them sending somebody to ask you something. But I feel like somebody's impersonating themselves or sending somebody that they know to impersonate the intentions of this um, fishing for comments. I feel like somebody wants you to be open, direct, honest, and willing to speak your truth. But they just don't want you to know what they're doing with this information. Somebody could be setting you up trying to get you to talk so that they have something on on tape or on video or whatever this is somebody needs to look around the room like if you're going to somebody's home or if this is a um a, a meet and greet or a setup somebody needs to look around like look around everywhere we have jackpot in reverse somebody wants to t wants you to talk about your your slip ups, your financial situation, or whatever this is. Somebody's trying to make it to where you can't move, you can't relocate, you can't travel, you can't do nothing because all you'll be doing is too busy losing. This is a weird ass motherfucker. This is somebody that ain't about shit. You see, the same person that I was talking about earlier that I ran into while I was running my errands, this is who somebody thinks that they are in the upright, but they are the boss daddy in reverse. This is somebody that is not stable, but fakes to everybody else that they on shit, that they run in shit, that they are a part of some sort of movement, and they not about shit. What they do, they, they hang around the building with a bunch of other niggas, smoking and, and doing nothing, having kids and all, and doing absolutely nothing. Period. Look, this is somebody that starts drama with women as niggas that will never learn their lesson, but they're going to learn the, their lesson the hard way. I'm telling you. People are weird. And there's nothing in the world that would make me talk to you ever the fuck again. You play with my name way too many times as a man. Not as a female, as a man. I like. I don't like you. I will never like you. You will never, ever see me in life. Talk to you, ever. So you can mumble shit under your breath. You can act like, you know, if I'm talking to somebody that you are, you are friends with, I'm not talking to you and I never will. You're a whole weirdo. Somebody's about to come into achieving some type of goal or there's something that you're going to expect to kind of align with. I feel like you're going to have a dream about something that you're going to achieve or that you're going to have victory in. We have care in reverse. The numbers 3, 39, and 26 could be significant. I feel like somebody here could be a single mother or father. Or you could be a couple with somebody that doesn't really get a lot of support. If y'all want to go out, if you're a couple, you don't have that luxury to do that. You're always with your children. There's never like that time to kind of come back together and date. Okay. I feel like y'all have friends, but it's like a hit or a miss with these people. Like just because you're friends with somebody doesn't mean that you trust them in a way to be around your children do you feel me like 
just because I'm your friend doesn't mean I'm going to have my kids willy-nilly around you, okay? Being a friend to me and being trustworthy to be around kids is two different things. And I'm not knocking nobody. Like, I'm not saying that you'll do something to a child, but it's, it's different when you're around children. You get me? I hope y'all follow. We have, right, we have daydream. And we have homeless. Somebody here is trying to sacrifice your destiny for them to have it so that whatever their fate is, you will get it. But somebody here, it's like their strategy is not going to work. Okay? Somebody's going to get into an accident. And I'm telling you, they playing too much. Somebody plays way too much, especially with your gifts, with your fate, your destiny. Somebody plays way too motherfucking much. For my liking. I don't like bitch made ass niggas. I really don't. We have mask. We have stabbed in the back in reverse. And we also have girl talk in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have cassette. And we have axe. Whoever this person is that may have been behind a mask or didn't show who they really were or what their what the hands of that they were dealing. Somebody stuck in their head about something that they were conditioned to think on a whole generally or specifically somebody's somebody's mind is stuck on something whatever it was that they were conditioned to think somebody here is a loner or somebody spends a lot of time alone because they can't show their friends that they're still thinking about you or they're holding on to something. Yeah, somebody's mentally stuck on you or you're stuck on somebody. I feel like somebody's missing out on really good opportunities to claim abundance, power, persistence, energy. I feel like the person that was behind the stalking, watching, and all this shit, they're not going to be able to claim any type of abundance here. Spirit is telling you to keep running from this individual, from coming back, because they're coming back with a love call, okay? Somebody's just tr gonna try to keep you from welcoming love into your life to keep you stuck. What's the message? We have Travel Lodge Hotel. Somebody could be traveling there or there could be a conference or whatever this is. Somebody could be having a stay at a hotel. Okay, it looks like you're unfollowing or unblocking somebody. Whoever this person is. We have support from family or friends. I'm also getting that somebody wants to bail on giving up their child or going on some type of trip without their child. Somebody was supposed to go on some type of crusade or um, what you may call it, like a place where you can't use phones or whatever. You're just really focusing on the trip and healing. We have big D energy, confidence newsflash married into a family of wealth and status okay so somebody that's confident i heard confident and careful i don't know what that means but that's what i'm picking up here i'm hearing the, the name hector h-e-c-t-o-r somebody's marrying into a family of wealth and status to somebody's brother and i feel like whoever this is has property that y'all can both benefit from. 
this person wants to get married for all the right reasons to you to build a legacy to build a family okay that's what i'm picking up here you're gonna be married to somebody's brother or maybe you're putting your brother on to a friend of yours We have California, Colorado, Connecticut, and Delaware. We have Netflix and chill. We have toxic environment. Somebody could live in a toxic environment or work in one. We have getaway trip travel, spontaneous. This is red flags here. Okay. Stay close. It takes courage to heal. Spiritual ascension is needed in a situation. Okay. So it looks like your DNA is popping up in the database or somebody's is. I feel like the missing, the missing key information that you needed to know, you will get from some sort of results when it comes to DNA. We have broken mindset. We also have spending time with a partner, blackout. Something could be happening with the electricity or somebody could be doing something for you to lose consciousness, so just be careful. We also have drugs in system. I told you, something. somebody's trying to get you to pass the fuck out so that they can take your clothes off, take pictures, video, etc. And you won't even remember what the heck is going on. And it's going to lead you to rectifying the situation. What's the message here for Virgo? We have provoked. Somebody here was trying to provoke you. By something that they said, slick out the mouth here. Okay, we have body and volunteer. Somebody here may need you on ground to help them with something. Or somebody's a part of some sort of volunteer program. This could be a Libra or somebody with Libra in their chart. We have free will. I feel like this is not mandatory, but somebody's going to be um, approached about volunteering or something like that. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.